I'm Altea Castro y la Mata in Rothstown, where second and third graders from across the county got some hands-on experience in the agricultural life. The best experience about this was getting to have fun. On Tuesday, over 400 students took place in the annual three-day Ag Awareness event, and about 1,400 students total will take place in this program. The goal of this program is to expose students at an early stage in life the importance of agriculture and how they can find it in their everyday lives. Eleanor Smith and Isaac Ochoa are both third grade students at Bishop Elementary School. They say today is certainly a day they will never forget. We got to hold all kinds of stuff like grain and we got to hold cotton and we got to pet the horses. Harvey Buring has been in the farming world most of his life. He says being taught the importance of agriculture at this age make kids become more aware of where their food, clothing and produce comes from. Inform young people about uh, what is involved to get uh, our food on our plate and our clothes that we wear on our backs. Hunter Fox with 4-H Council says there is more to agriculture than just farming. It's important because agriculture, a lot of people like to think that agriculture is the family-owned farm and the, that it stays within the family, but a lot of people don't realize that it's a, it's a, dying, it's a dying part of the economy. Students had a chance to learn about harvesting crops, plant life, and seeing different types of animals, such as chickens, cows, and sheep. Uh, the big takeaway is uh, understanding that food doesn't magically show up on the grocery store shelves. It doesn't magically show up in our refrigerators. And students say they are taking their experiences home. I can't wait to go home to my mom and tell me all about me this. Too. I want to tell my mom that all the things that we did here, that was so much fun. The program aimed to teach kids the importance of agriculture and it wraps up on Thursday. Reporting in Robstown, Altea Castro de la Mata, Action 10 News.